Rebel Gaming Club Worst Pickup Episode 165. How's it going, guys? This is our PS3 quarantine episode. And as you can see, I'm all by myself. Why? Because safety first. We don't need Jordan in here. We don't need Nick. So they might have the virus. And we don't want that. We don't want to be spreading it around. So, and we're a couple days early on this pickup because I want to give you guys something to watch. And I'll be honest, I have nothing to do. Uh, I work as a prep cook. And as you know, the restaurant business right now is pretty much all shut down. So, I have more free time. And unfortunately, I've cleaned my house. I've uh, I put up posters on my wall in my bedroom. I redid the whole thing. I'll show you a photo real quick. There it is. I, uh, I pulled out all my shoes and organized my collection of shoes. Yeah, here's that. Yeah, that's something. That's something. What else have I done this week? Hmm. Not a whole lot. I'm starting to get bored. So we're going to pick up these pickups. Good thing I have a backlog of thrifting finds in video games that I've purchased. So we're going to have some episodes. We're going to have a bunch. Maybe we'll get uh, two episodes a week for the, for the next few weeks. And uh, we'll come up with some new fresh ideas for the show. But we're going to get right to it. The episode is all about the PS3. That's the theme this week. And what, what, what did you like about the PS3? I can tell you a few things I liked. Number one, I liked that you could play MLB The Show. That was pretty much the main reason I picked up a PS3 years ago with my brother Ryan and my roommate Brandon, my bandmate. We, we bought it. We threw in uh, $100 each and we bought it and we got the game and had a lot of fun with it. And obviously we've had more, more fun than just MLB The Show. But we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get into some pickups. Thrifting, a few weeks ago I went out, so I'm going to show you right before this whole quarantine thing happened. First up, for 75 cents, we found this plug and play Mega Man 2. Now I know I heard this doesn't play very well, and that's alright. It's more about that art and just kind of the novelty of a plug and play Mega Man. And for 75 cents, don't fucking act like you wouldn't be buying it either. Jesus. Uh, next up, this had just got wheeled out onto the floor when I was at the thrift. And that is the Harry Potter collection, the one through six. So I guess this isn't technically the complete series, but it's all sealed up and that's beautiful. Uh, it's gonna go in the girlfriend's, uh, her room to to display because obviously I got no room down here. Oh, this was good. This was good. We got Pirates Dice, a game of high seas deception. This Pirates of the Caribbean game. Uh, it's all there. All four cups and, and all the dice. I guess this was uh this was in the, the movie. I don't recall this being played in the movie, but um, I guess it was. I guess it was because it says it on the box. I went to play this with a girlfriend and unfortunately you can play with two players but it, it seems like you need four to have a real good time so decided not to do that and instead we made a, put a puzzle together from 1974. Unfortunately it was missing one piece but it was a squirrel so that's a plus. 1974 squirrel missing one piece still something so that's what we did. Found a bunch of CDs this week. My collection's coming along. I need to actually go through my collection this week, so we might do a uh, CD collection type overview as I put them in order and, and kind of figure out how to arrange them. But this week we found the first Foo Fighters album. We found New Jersey by Bon Jovi. We got this Best of Pink Floyd Echoes. Not a huge fan of Pink Floyd, but for 50 cents, whatever. We got The Pains of Being Pure at Heart, Belong. You know, I found the, the vinyl last week, so I had to pick up the CD, so I have the physical, you know, kind of collection together. We got this self-titled Skid Row album, which is a lot of fun. 
We got Snoop Dogg. Paid that cost to be the boss. Tight White, you ain't got this shit. Tenacious D. Nine Inch Nails, further down the spiral. Picked up this Paula Abdul, Forever Your Girl, which is kind of funny that I found this because uh, I don't know if you guys are fans of Impractical Jokers out there, but their movie was all, all based upon uh, trying to go to a Paula Abdul concert, so that was neat to find that. And the last CD was this Ultimate Collection, Buju Banton. Some, some good dance hall reggae stuff. Uh, classic from what, late 70s all the way through the 80s and 90s. So those are my thrifting finds. Not bad. Some good music there. Speaking of music, I had Jordan over. And uh, we decided to do a song about PS3 controllers and how fucking shit they really are. So let's hit it. What will happen to the PS3 when all the controllers go to hell? What will happen to the PS3 when all the controllers go to hell? When the bumpers don't bump, the stick here wanders. I wonder how I'm going to play. Ratchet and clank into the Nexus Genji. And the days of the blade D2, that's the sky I didn't know if you knew And what will happen to the PS3 When all the controllers go to hell then? Ah, bro, this fucking controller is dirty as shit Yeah, let's run it under some fucking water Ah, it shocked me Uh, I'll be honest, um, we did ruin that controller. Uh, I, I figured if you ran it underwater that it probably would, you know, be fine. Don't do that at home, guys. If you do that, it, it just doesn't turn on again. Speaking of pickups, I forgot, as you can see in the back here, we picked up this Strat. It's a, it's a Squire but the, the thing about this is, it's from 1999. And what I've been looking for was a guitar like this from the 90s. Because I think the first Strat that I ever had was a Squire. It was probably a 96. Uh, with a maple neck, it was cream. But when I saw this electric purple, I mean, I had to have it. 130 bucks, well spent. I'm having a good time playing it. So that, that was something. Hopefully I can write some songs this week, you know, while in quarantine. What are you guys doing out there for this quarantine? You playing video games? That's an obvious one, but what else are you doing? How are you killing time? Let me know in the comments. And also, have you gotten any packages lately? Well, my buddy Richard Brian Kahn, he got a package in the mail. And let's uh, check out what he got. Uh, we got some GameStop purchases. Uh, as you guys know, there was a, a couple big releases this week. And one of them I hopped all over. First up, we snagged up this Animal Crossing console, which is sexy as hell. Uh, for months I was uh, putting trade credit together to uh, get this from GameStop, and I'm, I'm glad I did because the thing is sexy as hell. 
And to go along with it, obviously, the big game this week that came out was the Animal Crossing. Uh, we fired it up, having a good time with it so far. Not very deep into it, but I know Jerps93 got it. Um, Nick Sage picked it up, so I'm, I'm hopeful that we can, you know, go to each other's islands and hang out. I got it from Best Buy, so we uh, got the, the phone tech badge pre-order bonus. I pre-ordered this uh, like a year and a half ago when I saw the Gamers Club at, at Best Buy, so $46, not bad, I'm happy with that. Obviously the other big game that came out this week was Doom, the new one. I didn't get it, uh, Nick got it, I think Inside Kids are playing that, uh, coming up here soon. Other big release, MLB The Show 20, I was happy to add this, um, as you know, MLB The Show was the reason why I got a PS3, and uh, I'm not disappointed with this one. Uh, Ten games into the season, I'm using the Braves, and enjoying it, having a good time. I love the stats, I love the numbers, I like the realistic type RPG elements of that game, so we're going to keep pumping away on that. And the last GameStop game that I picked up this week was this Hell Warders. Um, it was a budget title. I think 20 bucks is what I paid for this. And um, so it, it combines um, action RPG meets tower defense. So that right there alone is kind of cool because you don't have a lot of tower defense games on the PS4. So we'll be firing this up hopefully this week at some point. That was my GameStop pickup right there. Not massive, but we got some really good stuff. You know what? You know what we're going to do right now? I thought I would do a top five my favorite PS3 games. Hey guys, here's my top five favorite PS3 games. This is my list, not your list. But you can leave yours in the comments down below. First up, number five, Ratchet and Clank, a crack. A crack in time. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. My video fucked up. Uh, but uh, back to the list now. Number four, XCOM: Enemy Unknown. This game checks all the boxes. You got to micromanage money. You got to keep an eye on the fucking aliens. You got to upgrade weapons. And then it comes to the battles. You actually got to think. You got to use your fucking brain. So it's a wonderful game. And it's my number four. Number three. Dead Rising 2. Uh, I love the concept of zombies in a mall being trapped in there and having to hack and slash your way through all of them. I played this game and beat it while my girlfriend kind of watched and, and gave pointers. So maybe that's why it holds a, a real soft spot in my heart because we kind of did it together. You know, she'd give me shit when I was sucking. You don't even so, know what you're doing. Dead Go Rising back. Number two is number three on this list. Number two is another strategy game. And that is Valkyria Chronicles. Originally released back in 2008 or 9, somewhere in there. Um, once again, very much like XCOM in the way that the, the strategy of movement points and you got to cover and and you got to upgrade, you got to micromanage things. On top of that, the, the art of this game is absolutely beautiful. It's all hand drawn. The storyline is a lot of fun. I actually like almost shed a tear at a few moments. Um, and, and it has tanks. Who doesn't like tanks? I love tanks. Thanks. Number one on my list is Lollipop Chainsaw. It's a uh, kind of a comedy hack and slash action game with an awesome soundtrack. And it, more than just being an awesome game, it, it was the game that I played to kind of sober up. Uh, four years ago I stopped drinking. I, I was a terrible, terrible alcoholic to the point where I was fucking ruining everything in my life. Um, just just drinking from the time I'd wake up until I'd go to bed. I'd drink at work, drink everywhere. I, I was, you know, I, I was out of control and I did it for a long time. I, you know, gained like a hundred pounds from fucking drinking. And uh, I, to I told everyone I knew and loved that I had a problem and I needed ten days to, to kick this 
and I did kick it after those 10 days, but l essentially I had, I did nothing but lay around for those 10 days, kind of getting the alcohol out of my system. And Lollipop Chainsaw was, was the game that I poured hours into, and it kind of helped me focus on, uh, on something other than just wanting to get fucked up. So that's why it is my number one favorite game on the PS3. I hope you like this list. Like I said, I'd love to hear your list in the comments, but right now we're going to get back to the episode. Alright, so not a bad top five list. It had some good stuff in there. And uh, you got to know me a little bit more through that. It's, it's crazy how games, you can. there's a moment in your life that you play a game and you remember it forever. And sometimes it's life changing, like Lollipop Chainsaw was for me. In the comments down below, I'm going to ask you, you give me your top five. I'm curious to hear it. I have a, a pretty decent sized PS3 collection, so, you know, maybe it'll bump it up in the queue. If you have a game out there you recommend, maybe I'll get on it before, uh, sooner than later. Last bit of pickups here. We did some ordering off of uh, Amazon and eBay. First up, off Amazon, I picked up this Raspberries box set right here. And this is a, a power pop band from Cleveland, Ohio from the 70s. And it's, it's such a nice box set. You pop it open, it's all these CDs. But the cool thing is, it's every CD is, is just like their LP. So you have the, the whole four CD collection, plus an, a nice booklet there. Oh, I love it. Big fan. Love the Raspberries, one of my favorite bands. So for the 20 bucks, I felt comfortable paying that. Next up, we picked up this Rode the Sky Soldier. Uh, I already have this on the Wii U, but I figured since this box is so sexy and I, I've been going hard on the, the, the 3DS kind of collectors, big box stuff, I wanted to add this to the collection. It was like $14 shipped. And speaking of big box stuff, this was the, the last purchase this week. Uh, for $8 shipped, I was able to get the Legend of Legacy big box, like the launch edition. Uh, it doesn't have the game in there, but everything else is in there. And I already have the game down there loose. So now we get to complete another Atlas title and put it on my shelf to go along with the rest of the games that I have complete over there in the big box, which is coming along quite well. That's going to wrap it up. That is it. Hopefully you guys had a good time and, you know, this killed a little bit of time in your quarantine, you know. Uh, another big thing to all you guys that are, are still out there working, especially in the grocery stores, working at the hospital, um, well, I, I just gotta say thank you because you guys are on the front line of that dealing with this shit. And um, I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm grateful, that's all I can say. Especially for Nick Grandchamp, uh, who's in the River City Rebels, uh, Cody who's also River City Rebels and part of the RGC band. You guys are on the front line, you know, working, working the co-ops. I appreciate that. And obviously, shout out to all the, the nurses and doctors. Uh, my girlfriend is in the ED right now working. So, I, I, know the, I know the struggle. So, stay safe, guys. Please stay inside until this, uh, you know, kind of blows over. I know a lot of you guys think maybe it's not that serious, but this is kind of serious uh, and if you're looking for more information and uh, to get connected so you're not having to rely on some of these news sources that are wacky I personally have been listening to the Michael Moore podcast it's called Rumble you can find it you know I watch it on uh, listen to it on Stitcher but uh, I'm sure it's across all the platforms so Michael Moore's Rumble it's great information and um, it just helps you feel a little more connected so that's all I got this week, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, maybe we'll see you in a few days here with another pickup. Until then, do what you do. Toodaloo!